What is going on guys? Radio Graffiti here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Penguin Episode 2. Just like the Penguin Episode 1, this is a complete banger. Little to no complaints about this episode, really enjoyed it. The episode starts off, we get Sophia having some sexual attention with her doctor, or at least I think that's sexual attention. They show sure are pretty close cheek to cheek for doctor and patient relationship, but hey, what do I know? Then we get to the Penguin being his slimy, sneaky self, cutting a deal with Maroney that he'll take the credit for Alberto's death as he sets up Falcone and their people to get whacked while the Maronis get the drugs. It's so fucking funny, the situations that the Penguin finds himself in throughout this episode. There's multiple times where he should die, and yet somehow he, he manages to find a way to s slip right through. I find it particularly hilarious when one of the guys comes in there and he immediately just yells out, what the fuck, after they both get shot. Something about the line delivery is just absolutely hilarious. Colin Farrell is fantastic as a Penguin. He's able to do these super serious, intense moments, but also having these brief comedic moments. Another example would be when he's freaking out about the cilantro and the taco order that Victor fucks up. Foreshadowing, Victor will fuck up the plan at the end of the episode, but we'll get to that in a minute. We also get another emotional moment between Oswald Cobblepot and his mother. She's sick, and it seems like it's only getting worse. I don't know if she's gonna make it out of this season of life, guys. And I think when she does pass, Penguin is going to freak out. This kind of reminded me of the Gotham TV show. Because I remember in that show, the Penguin was also a pretty huge mama's boy. And it seems like in this show, the Penguin is also a mama's boy. Nothing wrong with that. He loves his mom. Shows an emotional side of the character we otherwise don't get to see. I also really enjoyed the line Oswald Cobblepot says in this episode where he talks about how he always comes out on the other side better than before and you really see that in this episode where like i said earlier he finds himself in multiple situations where he almost dies and then somehow he finds a way out of it and he finds himself in that exact same scenario when one of the guys from the little shootout ends up surviving and sophia falcone gets her hands on him and the penguin has to do something about this guy before he starts spilling any beans about oswat he tries to get victor to plant some drugs in this guy's car to make it look like he's the rat but it ends up going South, when Victor gets caught, he ends up fucking up, so now Oswald has to improvise. And it's just so funny how he guts the guy like a fucking fish. That's what I thought he was going to do originally, was just straight up go in there and murder him, because I wouldn't trust this guy to lie for me. Like, hey, can you think you could tell them that so-and-so set you up? In typical Oswald fashion, his plan B is just to commit murder. So funny, dude, this guy is hilarious. So he kills him, and of course Sophia isn't too happy about this, so she wants to know who did it. So the penguin starts some shit with somebody, plants a knife in another guy's jacket. He ends up getting shot in the head. RIP to that poor innocent guy, I guess. He just wanted to be a part of the mob. He had sweet innocent dreams. He was so close to going to college and becoming a doctor. The penguin gets the privilege of having to dispose of all the dead bodies that he caused, but nobody else knows about. He tells Victor if he fucks up again, he's going to be the one in the ditch. Gotta love their sweet, innocent relationship. And that's pretty much The Penguin Episode 2. It's just Oswald Cobblepot slithering his way from death, outsmarting the Falcons. This show is just so good so far. I'm really enjoying these episodes. Can't wait for Episode 3. It looks just as good as what we've gotten so far. It's going to be really hard to believe that the season could continue with this quality of entertainment because this is just way too good. This could end up being in at least the conversation for one of the best comic book TV shows ever. Just in the conversation. I'm not saying it's the best. I still think Daredevil is the best, and we're only on episode two, but I'm just saying if the rest of the season continues with this quality, it may just end up being in that conversation. Because so far, it's just been so great. It's been so amusing and entertaining to watch. Colin Farrell is just so fantastic in this role. And the actress who portrays Sophia Falcone, it's just so menacing to watch. You can't take your eyes off her because you just have no idea what this crazy bitch is going to do. Really enjoying the show so far. Can't wait for next Sunday to see what happens next. Also, another moment I forgot to mention was when Sophia Falcone sees everybody looking at one of the old videos of Sophia and Alberto as kids. That was very sweet. Kind of gives us a little bit more of how their relationship was, because, you know, Alberto, he dies before we even know who Sophia is, so we never got to see their relationship together. Because, you know, at first I thought, oh, she only really cares about her brother being dead, mostly because she takes it as a huge punch to her ego, you know, oh, somebody whacked my brother, that makes me look bad. But it turns out she actually really did care for him. They seem to have a close relationship. So that was a really sweet moment of the episode. But yeah, what did you guys think about The Penguin Episode 2? Are you enjoying this show so far? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time. And remember, don't fuck up the taco order.